Hey guys, so I'm playing a little catch up right now. Um, I'm done writing lesson plans. I only have one more week left of school and we're not really doing much next week so I decided not to even write it down because um, it would just take too much time with this format and I doubt my UFC would even notice. Anyways, um, so this was last week's lesson. I, um, I posted a video being really excited because Winnie and Pinky were going to go to school. Um, the kids really, really loved it. Um, we had to be in the parking lot and it was only for like a few minutes because um, my CT had to leave. But they had a good time. It was the first time Winnie had been around like a ton of people. So she was really nervous, but she did good. Um, <laughs> Pinky, she usually doesn't do this, but she ended up pooping all over herself. Um, so I had to clean her up and give him a bath that night, um, but it was all good. Um, uh, but this is the lesson, this is why I brought them to school to show them. Um, I did, like, a life skills lesson on pets. Um, so, usually we don't do, usually my CT doesn't do vocab, like, the third week. Um, but my... UFC came once they're coming into another vocab lesson to see how I've improved on teaching vocab. I don't know. Anyways, so she came in with that. So we did vocab. Um, I created them by myself. Um, and this is kind of be kind of gonna be a reflection video because this is um, as well. Because this was last week, um, I probably would have made it short. Should have made it shorter. Um, I wanted them to know what the difference between a working animal and a pet was, um, and then I found show animal and that there was a definition. And I'm like, okay, here's this. I probably should have taken that one out in all honesty and just done pet and working animal, like, what's the difference? Um, but, no, they all did, I mean, all of them, except for one or two, got 100% on the vocab that week. So, I mean, they really worked hard on those, and I'm really proud of them. Um, anyways, so we did that vocab, that was the vocab for the week, um, because we talked about What's different between a pet, a working animal, a show animal, and then what types of pets are there? We said mammals, reptiles, amphibians, um, a few other ones. <sighs> I thought the more my superior was too. That was fun. Um, so we didn't get to the interactive PowerPoint. Um, so this is all kind of mixed up. Um, I did end up getting everything in throughout the week, but um, because my UFC came and we had to sit and do our long talk, um, which took up a ton of time. Um, and then, yeah. So we ended up, I ended up having them read Death by Chili Pepper up there instead of down here. Um, but then the second day we did the PowerPoint, which I will show you right here. So we have pets. So here's this. Um, I posted some videos. Um, one of the kids, I didn't realize that, um, I had it on edit. I thought I had them all on view only when I sent them to the kids, but apparently not, because one of the kids turned the slide blue. <laughs> so we have pet, different kinds of pets, types of pets, um, mammals, reptiles, amphibians, um, and then here was kind of their vocab review to go along with it. So a blank is a tamed animal. Um, we, they were doing it during the interactive video, but I still think I should have added like a word bank, even though the words were literally right there um, in front of them on the PowerPoint. I think I should have still created a word bank for these kids. 
Oh my goodness, I'm tired. Um, my coffee hasn't coming in. Where is next? Okay. And then here's working animals. So we talked about like different working animals. Um, where show animal is. And then we started talking about, okay, what do we need to take care of pets? Cost of pets, the average for just dogs and cats. And then I talked about Xena and what I do for Xena. Um, and then how much Xena costs. Um, and then what I have to do for Winnie and Frankie. <sighs> uh oh, see, they even added a, si a slide. Whoops. Um, and then my cost of Winnie and Frankie. And then that and a couple videos. Um, but they had. It was good. And then the next day, we talked about the cost. Um, so I had them add up how much <laughs> me and my husband have spent on Xena, and then how much we've spent on Winnie and Frankie, and then they wanted to go beyond this and actually figure out how much in total we have spent for all three of them. And yeah, it was almost, it was a lot. Like, I didn't realize how much we were spending on our animals in the past two years. <laughs> so, they're spoiled. I do have to say that. Um, I mean, it was enough that my husband and I could have gone on a honeymoon. That's, like, a nice honeymoon. Because we did have a honeymoon, but, like, we could have, like, traveled. <laughs> like, that's how much we've spent on our pets. Um, <sighs> Sorry, um, so we did that on day two, um, and then we said goodbye to the seniors, we had a senior party, um, and then all of the seniors led a small group for the back of the magazine, there's an infographic, and they filled up the text features worksheet, um, and then third hour, or third hour, the third day, um, the seniors took their final vocab, um, I don't think I ever showed that. I will show that to you in the next video. Um, because in the next video I'll be talking about what we're doing this week. Um, so they took their final vocab, and then while they were doing that, the other kids took their pretest um, and regraded them and stuff. Um, <sighs> we corrected them, I and mean, we went over the answers. Um, the, this is when I went and got Winnie and Frankie, and so in the meantime, they were given the parts to the Poison Sky, um, which is a play in there about DDT. I really struggled with this lesson, I do have to say, um, just because it was about pesticides, and back thing about Rachel Carson, who had helped ban DDT back in, like, the 50s. Or 60s, I can't remember. But I really struggled with this one. Um, just because it was such a heavy read and a lot of the stuff I didn't even understand. So I was, I tried to keep it as simple as possible for my students. And like I even found a, some explanations for kids for pesticides on DDT on YouTube. And I, there was like a bunch of stuff on YouTube about on YouTube about Rachel Carson um, to help visualize events that happened in the play um, but they they we all kind of struggled on that one I do have to say um, I would definitely be really nitpicky with these scholastic action um, articles on which ones I would teach if like I decide in my future classroom to use those because they are a great resource um they're actually really 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 cool and most of the time they're good but every now and then there's this one really heavy read and it's that one was just hard to teach for me just because I don't know much about pesticides and yeah <laughs> I I just I didn't want to scare them I wanted them to be like Okay, DDT was a bad pesticide, but they're making them better now to where they're not as bad. And so not all pesticides are bad, just some. 
but I, yeah, I didn't want to, like, fear them, because I've had teachers do that to me, where it was like, no, this is completely bad, no, we shouldn't be doing this at all, like, I want them, I want to be able to teach in a way where kids can see both sides um, of an argument, and, like, not get terrified about things, um, especially, like, our kids with cognitive impairments, um, anyways, moving on, um, and then that's when we did the cost of the pack, too. Um, so day four. <sighs> Coffee kicking. Um, they read their play. I actually made them get up and kind of perform, performing quotation marks, um, the play. Like, I had them practice, and I had them read to each other, and then I had them actually stand up. That needs a lot of work. They've never done that before. It was just something I wanted to try. Um, if we had more time, I think I would have had them, I think I would have done, like, a whole, like, play or drama unit where we talked about, okay, this is what actors do, this, like, stuff like that. This is what you need to do. This is how you perform. Um, this is what this part of the play means. Like, I, yeah, maybe we, if we had more time, we would have done that. Um, then we talked about what biography means, and then here's the videos that I played, and then we did not read Death by Chili Pepper. I honestly can't remember what we did there, <laughs> um, that day. Oh, we read the bullying one instead, stand, stand by or speak up. Um, and then day five, they took, they decoded a message, um, they took their vocab test, um, actually no, they did not decode the message, this is when they read the bullying one, I had them read the bullying one instead, I think we just ran out of time third hour, I don't know what we did third hour, anyways, um, <sighs> and then they took their quiz on the poison sky. Um, most of them did decent. We talked about it again before we did it. Um, and then we played the card flip game and a couple other math games. That was just a weird day, in all honesty. Like, it was just... That Friday was just off. <laughs> um... So yeah, that's, you guys don't really care about all this other jazz, it's basically just repeated. Um, so yeah, that, that was last week. Last week was definitely one of my harder weeks. I think a lot, a lot was learned last week. <laughs> definitely. Um, and that's okay. <sighs> Ooh, now if I can just stop yawning. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, that's, that was last week. It was good. It was fun. Um, especially with the babies going in, um, to the school. Well, not going into the school. Um, going into the parking lot. Um, they all had fun seeing them, and I taught them what a marsupial was. Like, it's a type of animal, but they have a little pouch. Um, yeah. So that was fun. Um, they were mad that I didn't show the pouch. But I'm like, guys, they were being really, really grumpy. They weren't sitting still. Because um, they were in the parking lot. I was really trying to keep a hold on them. And they had just woken up. Um, like, it's really hard to see the pouch. <laughs> and I didn't want them to get nervous and pee on you. And then they were like, oh, yeah, that's good. Um, but yeah, no, they did great last week. It was just off because the seniors were gone too, but this week's going good. So I will be posting another video shortly, um, so I'll see you later. Bye!